The Locking Pediatric Osteotomy Plate Lollipop System The Locking Pediatric Osteotomy Plate Lollipop is a modular blade plate system intended for stable fixation of proximal femoral osteotomies and fractures in the pediatric population. Features and Benefits Plate's angle ranges from 90 degrees to 140 degrees of neck shaft angle. Modularity provides surgical flexibility and reduced inventory. Cannulation of blade allows guidance over guide wire. Blade construct provides strength and stability. Chisel-free technique reduces surgical time and trauma. Intuitive instrumentation allows precision and control. Step 1. Preoperative planning. The sizes of the blade and plate are based on the age, weight, size and bone structure of the patient. It is recommended to select the largest and longest implant well suited for the patient. Implant categories include infant, child, adolescent and adolescent heavy duty. Step 2. Incision approach. The surgical technique should be performed under C-arm visualization using a radiolucent or fracture table. Position the patient to allow visualization in the AP and lateral views. Perform a straight lateral incision starting at the tip of the greater trochanter to visualize the affected area. Step 3. Guide wire insertion. Insert the 2 mm guide wire in the center center position in both the AP and lateral views. The wire can be inserted freehand using a positioning triangle or the wire guide. If the position of the guide wire is not satisfactory, the wire guide can be used to insert a second wire using the lateral or angular offsets. Step 4. Blade length. Measure the blade length using the blade depth ruler over the guide wire. The end of the wire determines the blade length. Step 5. Cortex breaking. Optional. This step is recommended in adolescent patients and patients with harder bone. Use the cortex breaker to drill first 10 to 15 millimeters of the cortex to facilitate blade entry. If flexion extension correction is required, place the dial of the flexion extension guide to the desired correction angle. Rotate the cortex breaker around the guide wire until the dial of the flexion extension guide is aligned with the femoral shaft. Step 6. Blade insertion. Select the joystick and connector shaft corresponding to the blade family in the table. Slide the corresponding connector shaft through the joystick. Align and hold the blade onto the joystick while threading the connector shaft into the blade with a clockwise rotation of the knob. To protect the connector shaft and provide an impaction surface, clip on the impaction cap or handle. Slide the blade and joystick assembly over the guide wire up to the lateral cortex. Clip the flexion extension guide onto the joystick to confirm the orientation of the blade before insertion. Place the dial of the flexion extension guide to the desired correction angle, or if previously done to the angle used during cortex breaking. Drive the blade by impacting the back end of the impaction cap or handle with a standard mallet. Continue impaction of the blade until it protrudes 5 to 10 millimeters from the lateral cortex to facilitate assembly with the plate. The blade will be impacted to its final position after plate assembly. Step 7. Osteotomy. Before performing the osteotomy, it is recommended to score the bone above and below the osteotomy level in order to retain a rotational reference. For various correction of a coxa valga, perform a first osteotomy cut parallel to the joystick surface, exercising the proper degree of caution to prevent sore incursion into the femoral neck. Remove any overlapping or excess bone in the area of the plate's transition. Step 8. Plate assembly. Insert the plate through the incision and hook onto the blade. Ensure full contact between the blade and the plate at the connection section. The drill guides can be used over the guide wire to push the plate against the blade for maximum contact and ease the threading of the connector screw in the next step. 
Attach the AO handle to the screwdriver and lock the blade plate assembly by threading the connector clockwise through the plate into the blade as tightly as possible. Step 9. NSA Validation At this point, it is recommended to validate the NSA using the C-arm before proceeding to impaction of the blade plate assembly into its final position. Reduce the femoral shaft and maintain the position with the Verbrugge of appropriate size. If the NSA is not as desired, the plate can be substituted to adjust by approximately 10 degrees increments. Step 10. Final Position Once the NSA is confirmed, obtain the final position of the implant by impacting directly the back end of the impaction driver with a mallet until the assembly is resting completely against the lateral cortex. Step 11. Derotation. Optional. Thread the locking sleeves clockwise into the two most distal adjacent holes of the plate. Clip the derotation guide onto the locking sleeves in the appropriate orientation depending on the correction direction. Insert the provided 0.2.8mm derotation pin into the bone at the zero position on the derotation guide. Release the Verbrugge and rotate the distal shaft to the desired correction angle. Reclamp the Verbrugge once desired rotation is achieved. Starting with the most distal locking sleeve, drill through both cortices and note the required screw length using the drill markings or screw depth gauge. Attach the AO handle to the appropriate screwdriver to screw in the first locking screw until fully threaded into the plate. Repeat the drill and screw process until all locking screws are inserted. Step 12. Osteotomy compression. Optional. When compression of the two segments is desired, the compression sleeve can be used with the up arrow pointing towards the blade. Drill through both cortices. Note the screw length required. This will achieve 1 mm of compression across the osteotomy. Alternatively, the point-to-point -point forceps can be used to compress both segments. Step 13. Oblique Screw Insertion An oblique screw can be inserted in order to cross the osteotomy and fix the two segments together. The compression screw should reach the proximal bone segment, but avoid contact with the blade. Hold the polyaxial sleeve of the drill guide inside the first screw hole of the plate. Drill at the desired angle through both cortices. Note the depth of drilling to select the proper screw length. Insert a non-locking screw in the prepared hole. Implant Removal It is recommended to remove the lollipop as a one-piece assembly. First remove all cortical screws from the plate. Then using the appropriate crowbar, wedge the plate off the bone by gently tapping the top surface. If required, the slap hammer can be connected to the crowbar to help the removal. 